Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a little video showing you the um, brand new uh, Windows Media Player for Windows 8. And so if you haven't seen that of Windows Media Player yet, you can access the player by going to uh, the right and corners, upper or lower corner to get the charms bar and in the search all you have to do is write Windows and add the Windows in the list you'll have Windows Media Player Windows Media Player so here is not started yet so user recommended settings uh, the setup does look like the same setup as the uh, our Windows Media Player we had in Windows 7 and actually you notice that the Windows Media Player is actually a desktop application so it really works and does things like the original Windows Media Player we had back in the um, Windows 7 and so here you've got of course your um, album, artists, music, and all types of media uh, is available here. It's streaming, and of course you can organize the uh, libraries. And so uh, it's pretty much look like the original media player. Um, You can, of course, insert a CD and have it play through the media player. On the left side, you can see that it has the PCs and other libraries that's available from different computers. So you can click on that to get uh, videos, music, and uh, stuff like that from other computers that are on the same network, for example. Here I've got Tech Montreal, which is my other PC on the uh, network. So it sees all the libraries that are available on different areas of your network and your computer. And there you have the uh, same content that you had on your other computers if there was something. Um, of course, on the upper right now we've got three types of button. We've got the play, burn and sync buttons that were not on the other uh, media player uh, in Windows 7 and here so you can for example to a Windows 8 machine or even to machines on your network that have a Windows media player you can sync your music libraries for example you can also sync devices if you have a uh, mp3 player for example not an iPod or an iPod touch or stuff like that but really an mp3 player you can sync your devices there. You can burn discs so if you have music or music uh, music library you can uh, actually take that music and burn an audio CD which is uh, something interesting also with uh, Windows Media Player the ability to make uh, audio CDs and of course um, there's a play button where it will uh, simply play any type of um, video and audio files that have the different formats and Windows 8 um, media player can play almost any type of audio and video files so uh, it's pretty cool for that um, and um, one of the features that's interesting with the media player here is also the fact that it can go on the internet to get um, any codecs codecs that are needed to um, play either an audio or a video file that does not have codecs naturally in its core. So uh, this is the basic Windows Media Player still available on your uh, Windows 8 machine and um, this is version 12 of Windows Media Player. So um, if you remember in Windows uh, 7 and uh, Windows Vista uh, we're in version 11 of Windows Media Player. 
So this is a uh, revamped media player. Does look more stripped down. Um, and one of the reason the reasons why is that um, although you have a Windows media player, there are separate apps now for uh, listening to music or uh, watching videos. So um, I, I guess that slowly the Windows Media Player will be um, maybe phased out in favor of uh, specific apps for music and videos. So this was a quick look at the Windows Media Player 12 in Windows 8 and this is a uh, desktop mode app and you can have it of course in the famous Windows Media Player look if you click on the lower right uh, of your uh, computer and if you click on the upper right you'll bring back the regular way of seeing Windows Media Player. So uh, if you want to learn more about Windows 8, learn more about uh, your computer, maybe you've got that new Windows 8 computer, maybe you want to learn more, uh, simply learn more about Windows 8 or learn how to use Windows 8, uh, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions or a request of a feature you'd like to see reviewed, let us know and we'll try to uh, put the video online for you. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye.